Welcome back, everybody. I'm Grip Slidem. This is Far Cry 4, my stack of idiots right there that I killed all in one place. I don't know, I'm just like, that's hilarious. Um, we're here. It's about time to, to finish things up. Oh, my shotgun. I wish I did, but I don't. So, we're gonna go and deal with Pagan on our own because the Royal Army has uh, basically gone in behind the Golden Path and they're trying to take things back over. So, the Golden Path, they're dealing with that. I'm gonna go deal with Pagan. Because I don't need those people, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Uh, we get to listen to this really weird song. They had some strange musical choices. Like, every time I've commented on it, I know. But I think it's because they just find it so strange. It doesn't seem like... I mean, it kind of seems like it fits, but at the same time, it seems a little far out there. For the Far Cry, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's very strange. Anyway, you get in the car. You go up this big hill. Eventually, we'll get to Pagan's. Palace, I guess? Place of living? I don't really know. Because he's got a fortress that's somewhere else entirely. So I don't know what this counts as. I guess just like his figurehead place. I don't know. It's a little bit of a drive. Uh, trying not to kill anything. See where he's destroyed statues and whatnot. All the stuff that he's taken from Kirat. How many artifacts? When he said artifacts, like cultural artifacts from the country that he melted down to make that statue we blew up in the last video. Come on, Pagan. It's just fucking wasteful, man. Wasteful. God damn it. The Royal Palace. Okay, so it was the palace that we were going to. We'll park the car right here. Park the Golden Path car right out front so you know who it is. So, okay, here we go. And we're right back where we started at the beginning of the game. For the most part. Come in! I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot that on your way in. Now, before we begin... To whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain. If I was speaking to the first guy, then I would say, sit down. Let's be civilized. Enjoy some food. But we tried that before, didn't we? At our first meeting? You sat Right here, Paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one. I stood just like this. And what were my exact words? Ah. Stay here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then... <laughs> we would have come back here straight away, together, and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy who didn't listen, decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. But I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I call a do-over. Hmm? I say you have two choices. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down, enjoy some food, and you and I will go scatter your mother's ashes together. <laughs> I do love Pagan so much. It's another choice. You can shoot him here, or you can wait. I would say wait. And I will show you why. Just give it a second. There you go. So, who did you kill? Hmm? Is it Amita? Sabal? Doesn't really matter. I already know. I just want to hear you say it. Fuck you. My goodness, boy, you didn't even blink. <laughs> well, you do realize that you're just giving away your country, right? 
It's yours. It's always been yours. Kirat is yours. I pulled you off the bus in the first place to pass it on to you. I suppose you could take it back. You're halfway there. One down, one to go. Not that I want to put ideas in your head. At least now we know you have a taste for doing what it takes. Well, no more putting it off, I suppose. Hmm. Well, come on. And don't forget your mother. You do realize that urn represents all that's left of the old RJ. The pre-Kirat RJ. Once you spread those ashes, all the ties you have to that previous life are gone. And then what happens? Well, I suppose you could do what I did after Mohan killed Lakshmana. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Yes, your father killed your half-sister, and then your mother killed him in return. I simply continued where she left off. I killed so many people for them. But then I realized I was only using Lakshmana's death as an excuse to do whatever I wanted to do. Just as you use those ashes as an excuse to do whatever you want to do. Finally made it. You know the one and only time I walked into this place. I came in the same man and came out. Like this. You. You will come out a king. Well, go on then. Do what you came here to do. See, we always thought Lakshmana was a place. It's not. It's his sister. Pagan was his mom's lover, Lakshmana's father, and just... If you kill Pagan before that point, you don't get to see any of this. I don't think I don't think it gives you the option to go out back and and find it or anything like that. I think it's just one of those things where you don't get to fulfill your whole purpose of being in Karat. At least with letting him live that long you get the option to, to get resolution for Ajay. Poor kid. Oh, last message from your mom. And your baby sister. if you still hated Pagan, you get the chance here to kill him. It's your last chance. I never do. I I don't know. I feel bad for the guy. He's going to just go off and disappear. He's not going to fuck with Karat anymore because he's given it to you. This is all yours now and it's your choice to do whatever you want, but you've already given it over to Saval. But if you do kill him there, his body will fall down. You can go pick up his pen. That pen that he stabbed the guy with at the very beginning that was so fucking fantastic. Yeah, you can go pick that up if you want. Um, and just gloat over the fact that you killed him, I guess. I don't know. And it's got this kick-ass song here at the end. Um, which, if you listen to the words, fits perfectly. But, yeah. That's the end of it. You finally got to get to Lakshmana. You got to see everything that happened, or all the, the truths that Pagan revealed for you. That he could have told you about at any time, but he didn't. He just let you run amok the way you wanted to. So, here you are with this country. 
And uh, Sabal, speaking of which, Sabal or Mita, whichever one you sided with, you can go and see them one more time, I think, um, before, like, basically, once you see them the, the last time, you'll never see them again. And I don't know if it's at the same place. Uh, for Sabal, you'd go back to Jalandu Temple, which I'm going to reload lo here and go show you, because he gets a little interaction there. I don't know where you have to go for Sabal. Amita. It's done. Good, brother. It's finally over. I can't believe it. Did you find Lakshmana? Yeah, I found it, Sabal. My mom's at rest now. Thank you. Kirat's free, brother. Mohan's at rest too now, because of you. Come on home. I could use a right-hand man to bring Kirat back to its roots. And then the funny thing is, is he doesn't tell, say anything to Sabal there. And I'm sure he probably wouldn't say anything to Amita either about who, like, what happened with Mohan. Hello, Deva. Oh, Misty Gale. Well, I guess that's it then. No more mayhem and destruction. Hanging up the old rocket launcher. All right. I really love what you've done with the place. Uh, It'll be sad to see you go. It'll be on the shelf, as it were. Gathering dust. Unless... <coughs> some unfinished business, perhaps. Who sends the snip? Or people to kill? That's why I just said, Donald. It's Yogi, you prat. Smoke? Smoke? Not this time. Good idea to say no. Good idea. But what I was saying before is he doesn't tell us all about Mohan. I mean, Mohan was... Well, not the best person, and Sabal can only see him as the best person. Oh man, I don't have the little gear. Let me buy that real quick. I'm gonna buy the buzzer just so that I can fly over to the the thing. Oh, do I not have enough money? What do I do? Okay. It's like, do I not have enough money? Surely that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, come on, put it down so I can go. Brother, now that Pagan is gone, his forces at Rajgarh are confused and disorganized. You should strike while the iron is hot and seize the fortress for the golden path. Yeah, 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 seize the fortress. We're not actually gonna do that. I just wanted to go find Sabal. There we go, that's where we need to go. Well, yeah, that's in the water, but close enough. Not uh, close enough, whatever. Gives us a waypoint to fly towards. Um, I, I know in Amita's ending, Chicken and I talked about it, um, in Amita's ending, she, you don't see Badra again, so, you know, yeah, you, uh, how do I need to go about this? Oh, okay, all the way down that way. You saved her from having to be the Taru Matara, but Amita says something about the fact that, you know, you don't have to worry about Badra anymore. So basically she exiled Badra, or killed her, one or the other, there's, there's really no telling. But Amita is pulling people out of their homes and forcing them into the into service, basically. Um, so she wasn't the best leader either. I think it's kids. I think she's doing what's best for the future of Kirat or something like that. Some bullshit notion of nobility. The same thing with Sabal. Both of them think they're doing what's right for the country. Both of them are, are pretty well wrong, uh, unfortunately. They both have good ideas, but they neither one of them are right. I know. Shoot at me. I'm just gonna fly past you. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still trying very hard not to not to cough all over the mic. Because I'm still sick. I'll be I'll be alright. I'll I'll be fine. I'll be fine. By the next uh, next video that you hear from me in, I'll be A plus. All good. I don't want to go too high because I know it's got like an altimeter issue where you can't go so high. Okay, there we go. That's where we want to go. I'm probably actually going to set it down over here and take a boat or swim, whichever. No, oh, whatever. Just let me out. Oh shit! I didn't realize I was not actually on the ground. I'll just swim. There's probably demon fish, but I'll be alright. There's no boat. I was hoping there was a boat right there, because it's right across. You'd think, you know, conveniently, why don't we put a boat here? But no. No boats. Also, apologies if you've heard a, a kitty in the background half this video. She's being rather demanding today.
you chose to fight your own people. When you sided with Amita, you chose to desecrate your own heritage and spit on the gods. Now you kneel before the Tarun Madara, asking forgiveness. Hmm? No. No. Where was that forgiveness when you butchered your brothers and sisters? You committed crimes against the gods themselves. So I say to you, today, you chose to cut your own throats, not me. Wait. Badra. She is Tarun Madara now. Sins against the gods can only be washed away with blood. There must be a cleansing for us to move forward, brother. Eventually, the Tarun Madara will understand that. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but Sabal's always had these really bright, flashy eyes. It's part of his charisma, but in that scene, they're they're dark and dull, and he's just scary all of a sudden. I mean, he's been so different this whole time, and now he's this angry motherfucker. I shouldn't have joined the Golden Path. It's tearing my family apart. Oh, that sucks for you. But yeah, I don't know if that was a choice or not. Plus, you'll notice, you'll remember that those little bits of dialogue, because Ajay already saw them while he was in Yuma's Shangri-La craziness. So, that's it. That's Far Cry 4. That's, that's the last thing you get to see. Um, Chicken actually decided that he didn't care for Amita, like the ending that he got with Amita. And so when she walked off after the little cutscene, he threw down some of the, the meat bait things, and a bear came out of the woods and ate her and the people around her. So he's like, I didn't kill her. I just let nature decide. But, I mean, I don't know. It just seems like after they're in charge, they have this complete personality shift. They lulled you into doing what they wanted, and now... They could give one single fuck less about you. Go, 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 Who's here? Oh my god, so Paul's actually gonna fight instead of run away. Usually they have them run away. I guess it's after the game. It doesn't matter if they die now. I don't know. Anyway, that was Far Cry 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm just gonna watch how this screwed out plays out. Um, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to check out the website, infiniterespc.com. Sign up for the forums. Let's talk about stuff like Let's Plays and other YouTube content because I'm gonna have a lot of it. Um, check out the forums for, that's where I put all of the IR updates, and there's definitely a big one for February. Um, we've got a lot of stuff happening, a lot of stuff in the works. So, anyway, thanks for hanging out. I don't know what we're playing next. Um, I know Baka and I are going to do Dying Light together at some point. I don't want to get shot. But I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, when that's going to happen, or what I'm doing next. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments below or on the website. Either way, and I will catch you next time.